Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about Doctor Who because now they're doing some more damage control. Uh, Shooty Gatwa, well, I think that's how you pronounce his name, uh, is reacting to all the racist hate. People are malfunctioning because things are changing. No, no, uh, Shooty, they're not because you're black. They're they're reacting because you're you're not the doctor. Like, and and twerking at monsters is stupid. Twerking at monsters. We're talking about the doctor's wardrobe is going to be gender bending. The and musical numbers are stupid. Musical numbers. It's Doctor Who. Uh, dragging David Tennant's doctor through the mud. And David Tennant's doctor is still out there, by the way, which is very odd. It was a very odd choice to, to split uh, the new doctor from the old doctor. And a lot of people are pissed about that. They're like, hey, this is a, a slap in the face to fans and also the fact that uh russell t davies is going to be doubling tripling quadrupling oh, yes. down on the timeless children which was a huge huge uh fandom breaking bone of contention mm -hmm. it was the last jedi of doctor who no but here we go with the shield it's because you're racist it's because you're racist guys that's it like what year is it what year is it that you think that's the only complaint people have? Like, you know, Doctor Who's audience historically has been pretty progressive. Uh, in fact, I think people were willing to give Jodie Whittaker a chance. Not to bigot the misogyny. Just, yeah. that's, that's why her run sucked. It was because of misogyny. Not at all because the writing was terrible. Her show started off, the ratings were actually really good. And then as people realized that the show was just going to be this ham-fisted, preachy, boring as fuck you know, imitation of Doctor Who, they they checked out. You know, they checked out. And and uh, I think the same thing is going to happen here, except Disney's throwing lots of money. Lots of money at Doctor Who. And uh, I don't think it's going to get another season. I think Disney is basically willing to... My understanding, the deal is Disney was willing to bankroll two seasons of it. And Russell T. Davies has made uh, the comment that after that, he's not sure what happens to Doctor Who because the BBC basically doesn't have the money to, to do it anymore. Well, they've run into the ground. They've run, it, yeah. Had they just stuck with what worked, they would not be in the position they're in. But it's not about racism. I'm, oh, not, my God. I'm so tired of this. People hate it, guys. It's got to be because of their bigotry. Maybe it's because your show fucking sucks. I'm just saying. They know this season's going to be a disaster. They they, they Maybe know. Maybe they'll pander to, to TikTok. And they're already preemptively trying to do that. But this is what happened last time. Yo, oh, it's just the the misogynists that hate that a woman's in the TARDIS. Some people did. Like, look, that's a perfectly valid opinion they have. Most of the people who hated it were women. Most of the people who hated it were women. Because, yeah, remember, guys, uh, prior to Peter Capaldi, who I, I will go on record again as saying, and I still think he was the best of the new doctors. He just had the shittiest scripts, you know, and his companions were lackluster. But uh, I, I thought he was fantastic as the doctor, and I would love to see more of him as the doctor. But prior to Peter Capaldi, we had a lot of women uh, get into Doctor Who because we had younger, good-looking doctors with female companions. And that was kind of the dynamic. You know, I, you don't have to like it. I remember one of the producers, I, I forget who it was at uh, San Diego Comic-Con, lecturing the audience, telling the female Doctor Who fans in the audience that they didn't want to be the doctor's companion. Oh, no, women, you don't know what you're talking about. You want to be the doctor. Nope, didn't care. Didn't want to be a doctor. Yeah, no, they didn't. They did not. Actually, I was, of all my friends, I was the one who was, like, the most, like, eh, because I thought it was just being lazy again. And it was uh, the other dudes I knew were fine with it. They were like, oh, I'll check it out and see. I'm the one who was kind of like, this is going to be so stupid. I, I actually, I was actually okay with, were we talking Jody Wicker? Or were yeah. we talking shit? I was okay oh, with either one. Yeah. I, I mean, I was kind of like, why? Okay, whatever. Cause I guess my thought process with Jody Whitaker is in Canon. They could have, cause it was supposed to be a doctor's last generation, right? Then you got a new, uh, with uh, Matt Smith and then you got a new regeneration cycle. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Cause you got to keep the show going. So my thought process was, well, it's a new regeneration cycle. And at one point in time in the show, like River gave him some regeneration energy. And they could have explained it that way. But I'm like, well, it's a, a new cycle, new roles. And uh, River gave me some of her energy. So now I can I can turn into a woman. You know, that would have whatever. That would have made sense as long as she was good. And I was willing to give her a chance and it didn't work out. And then they just blew the whole canon up anyway. So none of it, none of it matters. This doesn't matter. There is no more canon because apparently the doctor can just spawn another doctor 
and spawn another that? TARDIS. Yeah. Like the TARDIS can just duplicate its, you know, they hit it with a whack-a-mole hammer and you get two TARDISes, TARDI. What the? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just think, I just, I'm just tired of this narrative. Okay, we're doing stupid things. People are like questioning it because it's stupid things, but it's because they're racist. Hurry up. Try to paint them with a, a broad brush so that we can say it's their fault, not our fault. No, it's called, yeah. you're fucking the show up. I'm sorry. No one wants to see the doctor twerk at monsters. I don't Musical know. That, that, numbers. I don't want it. That would be good. That would be good Twitter fodder. That would Musical, be. Well, it's a TikTok fodder. Musical numbers, because that's what they did last time about eating babies. Now they're going to they're gonna do, you know, more, more of that shit. And then the timeless children. And they're like, why? It's it, it got to be because of racism. It's got to be because of it racism. It's got to be our fault because we're flipping stupid. No, no. Trust me, dude. Trust me. Uh, uh, the color of your skin is the 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 least of my concerns. That is, mm -hmm. like, seriously. If well, they, you're not the doctor anyway. The doctor's still running around. Yeah, right. The real doctor's out there. Uh, congratulations. You've, you've already kind of negated, like, you're kind of the spare doctor. But, like... Like if they had announced that Idris Elba was going to be the doctor and he would have played the doctor, I would have been over the fucking moon. I would have been like, yes, I'm, I'm 120% okay with Idris Elba playing the Not doctor. Not they're going to make it musical numbers. He had a twerk at months. No, if he was actually the doctor and playing the doctor as the doctor. Not whatever this is. I Yeah, I would have been, I would have been ecstatic i would have been like yes i love idris elba this is gonna be awesome doctor's gonna be a badass doctor badass but no we've got dr twerk so uh before you get into it any further we're really into it pretty far please subscribe uh for more pop culture news views and rants guys uh, check out our patreon patreon.com backslash clownfish tv uh we're trying to build some some life rafts from youtube just in case you never know you never know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, so this is coming from Yahoo News, the Evening Standard. Doctor Who's Shurigawa reacts to racist hate. You see people malfunctioning because things are changing. Because you're ruining the show. It's not because they're... It has nothing to do with you being black. Right. It's not because they're, they're racist. It's because the show is fundamentally broken. Um, so he appeared on the cover of Attitudes May June Issue, which is out now and celebrates 30 years of publication. Um, he said of those who have a problem with him taking up residency in the TARDIS, it's not something I'll avidly be keeping up on. Look at that. I can't wait for this, guys. I can't wait for this. The hate, it's kind of fascinating to me because there's so much energy they're putting into it. I think they need to go find a hobby is one thing, but another thing is, uh, that we do see a shift happening in casting and positions and power in the status quo. That's not what the problem is. I mean, not a fast shift. Things could tip over the other way a little bit quicker, but you see people kind of malfunctioning because things are changing. No, you've changed the show completely. It's not, has nothing to do with him being gay. It has nothing to do with him being black. That's not the issue. It's nothing to do with him looking like a, a pink feather duster. I mean, that is that is part of the issue. Like, that's just fucking stupid. But then again, you know, you look at the sixth doctor and you look like Ronald McDonald. Oh, so yeah. It's no, like, see, that's not my issue. I'm just like, he's like a flipping pink nightmare. Oh, geez. Oh, God. Okay. So the very There's first. There's a definite jump in style here. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yes. Uh, the very position of style. That is, uh, that is, uh, the very first episode of Dr. Who aired in 63, almost three decades before he was born. The actor went on to say he feels the characters needed more today than ever as he reflected on how the show manages to stay relevant after all these years. Yes, totally. That's how we stay. That's it goes how from a feather duster to a condom. Anyway, continue. The, the doctor, the doctor is constantly fighting for every life, even his villains. Wait a second. I know, right? So. I brought this up before I brought this up before and we had people telling the fans basically to go F themselves or whatever. You know, Russell T Davies actually would kind of turn on the fans too. That's Maybe not, he doesn't like us too much, but you know what? Anymore, the feeling, feelings mutual now. Yeah. Somebody sent me a DM that they had with Russell T Davies and he was like, Oh, clownfish TV. They're a bunch of whatever. I was like, no dude, I actually liked your stuff for years. And I would have, would have loved to have a conversation with you and ask you what the no, fuck you're thinking. No, because you're automatically thinking. a bigot because you might criticize him and he's a genius. That does seem to be a trend with these shows. Like you're not allowed. It's a, it's a one way street. We put the show out, you consume it and you shut your fucking mouth. 
you shut know your bitch hole. This reminds me. There's this. It's a trend lately in general of these people. And okay, for example, at a university, I'm not going to detail who and everything else. There was a teacher. Teacher did, um, you know, didn't tell the class one thing and then changed the rules and then you know it was it caused problems. And other people in class said, no, you never said that. Uh, you aren't allowed to challenge a teacher on anything because if you do, that teacher feels they are being attacked and you and you get in trouble for it. Or we had another issue. We actually had an issue with another school yes. where the teacher accused um, our daughter of plagiarism. Turned out that they were using AI. Turned out they were using Grammarly, which we actually have professional version at our work. And we ran her her paper through what what the 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 AI picked up as plagiarism was the first sentence, which is a basic sentence. Like it'd be like saying the capital of Washington D.C. or you know capital of the United States is Washington D.C. It was like a sentence like that. That was what got flagged as plagiarism. It was a sentence like they asked for an explanation and you repeated back, you know, like oh please explain what this is. Right. But the purpose of this is, and you know, typical sentence, not plagiarism. And then you weren't allowed to to ask questions or question a teacher because they they felt they were being attacked after they you know kind of went after our daughter for it. So you know it's this it's this mentality you can't you can't question anything because they're attacking me. Yeah, but then uh, simultaneously, truth is subjective according to the editor of uh, NPR. Now, well, to. it's the editor of NPR, so need we say more? But no, this whole thing the doc the doctor is constantly fighting for every life, even as villains. Think about all the times that the doctor like the doctor could have killed. Davros, a uh, Davros who's not allowed to be in a, a wheelchair anymore, by the way, because that, you know, whatever. But yeah, the doctor could have killed Davros as a child and didn't do it. The Dav- uh, the doctor has tried to rehabilitate enemies time and time and time and time again. This is not new. So why, why now are Doctor Who fans beyond redemption? Why are they, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, why is there no attempt? That was like Star Trek too, like uh, classic Star Trek. And Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, a lot of times they would show the enemy's point of view. And sometimes you actually would wind up sympathizing with the enemies because you're like, oh, no, I get why they're this way because this happened to them or whatever. And, um, you know, sometimes they would kind of leave leave the uh, the moral judgment up to the audience as to who the villains actually were. Because there are some times that the Federation acted like shits. You know, and the, the, mm. the quote unquote bad guys were actually in the right. It's just the Federation was being shitty. Um, well, they should have, they tried twerking at them. They should have twerked that. Yeah. Twerk at the Klingons. Birthing well, no, aren't the song? Klingons twerking now and singing and dancing on the. A what? Uh, uh, Strange New Worlds. They're, they're doing like a, a, a boy band number or some oh shit God. on that. I'm oh, not that's even right. kidding. That's right. I forgot about the musical number. I noped out. I, I like, I even <laughs> watched that episode. I gotta be honest. Is I it was like watching. I was watching the show. I actually, okay. So, uh, start, we're totally going, but Star Trek season, the Picard season three actually got me back on board. Like, okay, fine. That wasn't terrible. That was actually pretty good. Actually, I enjoy that quite a bit. I will try strange new worlds. I will try it and I will see. And by God, I'm like, this is actually pretty okay. I will. Then they started dancing and singing. Is the new trend. If you have a problem, you shake your ass at it. I mean, like I tried monkeys, that. you just shake I your tried, ass. I tried that once. Cop wasn't amused. No. It's like the Fraggles. Oh, they God. weren't shaking their ass at people. No, but they're dancing their cares away. Oh, well, worries that's for true. another day. They don't wear pants either. That's just really scary. Um, There's a lot of twerk in those Fraggles. Don't wear pants. They all anyway, have hairy asses. So we're back. The next article on this list, I guess, apparently, is a theme. Doctor Who should she got one well, racist trolls to reach their casting fight a hobby. It's not. I mean, I'm sure I'm 100 percent sure there are some people who are mad about it for racist reasons. I'm not going to say that's not true because that would be lying. Do I think that's the majority of the complaint? No, not at all. They did keep stepping over people are complaining about that. And then well, they keep blaming it on racism. He's not even saying what that. The I, hell? Know, I know that he's not. They look. Well, the, no, he said that they're getting mad. and They need to get a hobby. No, the casting decisions like, yeah, whatever. I'm not really paying attention. But they're like. Did you read social media reactions when they announced you were cast? Okay, that's that's the question. Or that the doctor would be black? And he's like, ah, oh, no, I got a, a brief glimpse of it or whatever. He knew, it, like, look, it was going to happen. Um, he said, the, hey, it's kind of fascinating to me because there's so much energy they're putting into it. Yeah, you're getting angry over something so inconsequential that you can't be an interesting person. What, you can't be an interesting person because you're angry about what specifically? Well, here's the thing. What, what is he talking about specifically? What hate? 
I mean, the fact that the story sucked, the fact that musical numbers aren't necessary, the fact that the timeless children stupid, the fact that twerking is ridiculously dumb, and everything we've seen <laughs> so far has been you know terrible. If what what part are you mean, referring to? I think for him it's inconsequential because look, I mean, as much as he enjoys a role or whatever, I'm sure he's just cashing a check, right? At the end of the day, but the showrunners of these these series that that YouTubers especially are critical of, that fans on social media are critical of, they take it very damn seriously. They take it way too seriously. I'm I'm offended because a crime has been committed. Those socks with those shoes. Um no. What is going on here? It looks like a leprechaun. <laughs> like you should be doing Berries a little and cream. <laughs> anyway, um berries and socks. cream. Berries and those cream. Socks with those shoes. Is that triggered? Is that a swim cap? Oh, I thought he was. I thought he was wearing a piece, like a toupee. I don't know. It was know. slicked back, like. I don't know. I don't even. I'm just trying to get past the socks and the shoes. Well, and why get, he's trying to look like he's a '90s. He's like a, a '90s uh, band, you know, someone from a '90s group, early '90s. Oh, early '90s. Yeah, I was gonna say that is not grunge. No, 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 no. Like the early uh, '90s. The, you know, they had like the hip hop, what, what like was it? CNC music yes, factory like or that. something like MC yeah. hammer. It was like, that's what he looked like. He's trying to, Oh, to poor MC hammer. RIP. RIP. Uh, so yeah, he, okay. So they're gonna, they're gonna do more. Like you thought the kilt was a one-off. You thought the gender bending dress was the one. No, that's, they're going to do it on the show. Sorry. Got reveals that, uh, he worked with the costume designer and uh, she said she'd lay out sketches on the table. I saw kilts and skirts and all kinds of gender pushing, societal pushing outfits. And I was like, yeah, let's do all of them. Let's do all that of them. That explains that socks with those shoes because that was uh, that that is a bigger crime than a kilt. <laughs> if you wear I mean, that with sense. a kilt. It, it makes sense. The kilt and, makes sense. The, the socks, those shoes do not. Like I saw him in the, the whatever the seventies episode uh, they were filming and he had, he had this uh, orange leather jacket. And I thought that looked pretty good. Cause you usually, usually the doctor has like one or two iconic outfits. Not him. It. Apparently he's got costume changes every other, every other episode, but see that Probably kind two of or three times an episode. <sighs> I, I don't, I, I actually, Shooty, you seem like a nice guy. I don't give a fuck. I'm just, I'm talking about this because it's just like, the problem is nobody gives a fuck anymore. Well, that's the, okay. The show you know, is quintessentially British. So apparently over there, that, socks and shoes is a thing. Um, And it's, and it's a show that has accumulated the power to reflect what Brit Britain is societally. So apparently this is Britain society. This is how they dress. This is according to him. Um. This is this is Disney's Britain, like the one in Epcot. You know, this is I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't foresee this lasting very long, but uh, who knows? It might be the best damn show ever. And I might have to eat. I might have to eat kilt. I might have to be You're like, not going anywhere near someone's you know, kilt. Uh, I'm not eating anything re related to, you kilt. know, this thing might come out and people might be like, oh, my God, it's the best damn Doctor Who in 15 years. And you don't know what you're missing. And those musical numbers, I swear to God, and his the the, the flowery skirt he wore last time, I just I, I I can't even go out to TikTok. You can you can see all the musical numbers, and it's the best Doctor Who ever. And I might eat my words. I might be like, yeah, it's the best Doctor Who ever. I'm not everybody. watching it either way. I don't really like musicals. Don't care. So I don't think I'm gonna like it. Not watching much. it. I don't want to see the Doctor. Maybe that's what they're building to. Maybe it's because like everything now. They want to turn it into a musical because they make extra money. Like we got freaking, well, I took uh, Pinky Boo to go see Beetlejuice, which was actually pretty good. But like every damn TV show, they're turning it into a musical. So I could totally see them being like, well, we got to make some extra money in Doctor Who the musical with all the musical numbers from TikTok. Clownfish TV the musical. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We fuck, legitimately, fuck. <laughs> me, we legitimately walk around the house and make up songs though. Like. I've done it since we've been married. Like I'll, I'll just randomly start singing about stuff that I'm doing or the dogs. Squid King does. The yeah, dogs. Well, that's, where he, that's where he got it from. The dogs. The we dogs. Hear the glove, glove and my mermaid song. Oh God, that's that's in previous. So our, our family is yeah. a very musical family to begin with, but still. I think musicals are silly. I like I musicals actually. I, I think. <laughs> I've been in, I've been well, in no, I didn't say they weren't fun. I just I think they're silly, and I don't want. To, and Doctor Who sometimes is silly, but I don't want to see singing, dance, and Doctor Who. That's just my. Doctor dances. No, he doesn't. That was a joke. He doesn't. He doesn't dance. Now was Russell T Davies. Like, like, what happened to that guy? Where did that guy go? We're gonna wrap this up. Yes. All right. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.